Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope I've been having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Don't make assumptions. Disconcern the truth. The problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are truth. We make the assumption, we misunderstand, then we take it personally and we react with emotion, by sending emotional poison with our word. And it creates a whole big what? A whole big drama for nothing. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 153, NASDAQ's up 168, SP's up 34. Gold, gold contract up 90 cents, traded at 19.45 an ounce. We had silver down 49 cents, $23.44 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $81.53 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 12 ticks, trading 114.21. The 30 year off 20 at 129.27 and King Dollar. King Dollar's trading up 106, 102, 118. Euro is at 108. Yen is out here at a uh, price point of 130.68. The British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world, the S&Ps, let's take a look at them because this is going to be a fun 60 minutes here. So what do we have out here? Well, first off, what we did is this. Let's go back to Friday. So Friday, you had volume on the way up. Option expiration, you got 91 million shares. Now, the 91... We're going into 108, but 91 is good volume. Today, what do we have? The bottom line, we got over the highs today. Now, the high that you're going to keep your eye on out here today is going to be the 400.23. We made it to 402, 64. We're going to, well, look, we're under that level right now. And if I go over to the E-minis, it looks to me, I guess gets contracted. It looks to me that we can sell this whole thing off today, which is going to be crazy. Um, but this is how this is kind of like, set up at this point because see let me see on this 10 minute yeah so we're nine minutes into the 10 minute bar here now watch this okay so we come down in 50 minutes from you know the 4056 to 4016 okay so you can now 40 s p points it still has volume so you have a high volume low at this 4016 now we're on a nine minute we're, we're in this bar and it's nine minutes and you can see the nine minute bar only has 28,000 contracts going against 49,000. So I suspect we're not done on the way down yet. Now let's go over, I'm going to go over to the dollar for a second. Now let's go to the NQs first we'll go to the, because they're both going the same way. And this is all about the dollar, man. It's, uh, this is like, phew. The dollar only went up 100 ticks, man, and the S&Ps come down 45 points. So, <laughs> pretty wild, man. And then the NQs came down 100 points. And the NQs, you know, bottom line, this is what we just did. So, we, got, we went down on 180, 182,000 contracts, and we just went up with 106. That's telling me we're also not done. And when, you, when I look at the NQs, the NQs could actually come all the way back right to where we started from, like, the 11,732. Well, now, that would be a total mind blow. There's no doubt about it. If we take a look and we put the cues up and we take a look at the swing that you're coming into, same type of setup as the, uh, no, it's not the same type of setup because it's higher than the, than the S&Ps. Um, you're coming into the last high. We're coming into the low of the high. The low of the high is 285. It got to 290. The high is 296. Now, those volumes up there are explosive volumes. You know, we'll see where they can get it. Uh, we got volume on Friday. Option expiration didn't matter. You got 80 million, 60 million. And we're coming into 80 million right now. So we'll see how this baby holds. That's, that's the reality. Um, you know, if it can hold price, because we have a huge amount of earnings coming out. There's no two ways about that. Gold. We look at the gold contract out here. What you're going to see with gold is the bottom line is that gold did a U-turn, meaning it comes down. Rejects lower price, goes topside once again. Um, there she is right there. So we hit a low today in gold. It's about 1929. You're going to hear a high of 1953. And we're going to end up, if we end up right here, we're going to end up with a big doji. So we'll see where that shakes out. Bottom line, it's all about right here. The good old dollar index. And, you know, 
The dollar hasn't been able to get any traction, man. I mean, you know, we broke down, and when we broke down, we broke down on the uh, 9th of January, broke its range. You know, that being said, you know, bottom line, we'll see if it can get any traction. You know, uh, today you had a high of 102, 275, and if we run to that again in the next, you know, 50 minutes, you're all going to see this market get smoked. Um, it, it blows my mind that, uh, you know, you could only do a small, <laughs> a small uptick. So here's the uptick that the dollar did when the S&Ps come down 40 points. We went from 102.003 to 102.218. Okay, so it did, you know, approximately 200 ticks. And 200 ticks baby took this baby south in like a heartbeat. So that's telling me that this dollar does want to basically bounce. You know, we'll see whether we get that bounce. Inside of the, uh, the highest volume equities out here this morning, you get Tesla up at 873, you got Advanced Micro up 556, NVIDIA's up 1237. It's a lot of green out here, man. Uh, Rivian's up a buck 70. We have uh, Google up a buck 40. Microsoft's up 250. Facebook's up 375. You know, that's, there's a lot of green out there. Inside the Dow Industrial, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrial. Point-wise here, this is what you have. Salesforce is putting 32 positive points. Goldman, 22. Apple, 19. Boeing, 18. Taken away from it, Amgen, minus 17. Procter & Gamble, minus 12. Verizon, minus 3. No big deals there. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. You got uh, Lucid up 11%, Rivian up 10%. Now, those are both the dogs and have been dogs. Uh, AMD is up 8%, Marvell Technologies up 7%. Take it away from it. AstraZeneca down 1.9%. You have uh, Baker Hughes off 1.5% and Dexcom off 1.3%. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 199, Nasdaq's up 194, S&P's up 41. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm Mr. Steve Rhodes.